Did you know that 71% of the people that watch Matthew Kelly's videos are not subscribers? That makes no sense. We need to change that. Subscribe today. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on another great video ever again. One of my dreams for you as we make this journey together is that you become convinced once and for all of the power of habits. Habits have an incredible power in our lives. Often we think about the power of things we can't control or the power of things beyond our influence. Often we think about how powerfully circumstances affect our lives, good or bad. But habits are more powerful than circumstances. We measure character very often by the way people deal with the unexpected, good and bad. When unexpected things come along in people's lives, you know, how do they process them in their lives? How do they absorb them into their lives? A lot of that depends on habits. And very often we get caught up in sort of the misery of circumstances that are beyond our control, that we find disheartening or that suck our hope away from us, we find discouraging. At those moments, what God is really calling us to do is, is to focus on the habits that can overwhelm the circumstances, the habits that can, can triumph over the circumstances of our lives. Why are habits so powerful? Because they have the potential to unlock our potential. Yeah, habits, they have the ability to unlock our potential. And that's a beautiful thing. You know, when we look at children, we talk a lot about potential. When we, we talk about children, we see them doing new things every day. We see them just brimming with potential. The truth is, is that you and I, regardless of our age, are still brimming with potential. But somewhere along the way, we stop thinking about it. We stop talking about it. But God never does. As the divine parent, he looks at us, his children, and he sees astounding potential. You see, you're a human being. You're a human being and Philosophers love to talk about being. I love the concept of being. And one of the ideas I love around being is that the being of something changeable is not just what it is, but also what it still can be. You're a being, a changeable being. You're not a static being, okay? And the being of something changeable is not just what it is, but what it still can be. And that's what I'm interested in. That's what God's interested in. That's what I'm trying to get you interested in is, is, is who and what you still can be. Your astounding potential. What prevents us? The past. You are not the things that have happened to you in the past. The past is dead. The past is dead. The present is alive. No man, no woman can change one moment of the past. Every man, every woman can change every moment of the future. So once again, I encourage you to make a standing appointment with God, to step into the classroom of silence and sit down with your God for a few minutes each day to make that a, a sacred commitment, a sacred moment in each day of your life and allow God to open your eyes to the fact that you are absolutely brimming with potential, brimming with potential regardless of what anybody else might have you believe. Our lives change when our habits change. And no habit will change your life more than stepping into the classroom of silence each day, sitting down with your God, and spending a few minutes in prayer and reflection.